Marissa, I got you. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we have Gregory ISD's, Gregory Portland ISD Superintendent, Dr. Michelle Cavazos with us this morning, answering all of our viewer questions and answering our own first edition reporter Marissa's question as well. Good morning once again, Dr. Cavazos, and thank you so much for being with us this morning. Following up with our first edition reporter Marissa Cummings' question, once in-classroom instruction begins, will these students be separated by common interests? Good morning and thank you. Yeah, that's a great question. So students will be, especially at secondary, we're trying to cluster students as in uh, like pods around common interests so that it makes it so they can travel together um, or the teachers can travel to them to provide their instruction. And then at the elementary, then they're by their uh, grade level. Uh, so. Let's talk about extracurricular activities such as band and choir. Are they meeting right now on the line? And once concerts begin, will there be a virtual audience? Those are great questions. And they're all things that we're uh, navigating right now and seeing what is that really going to look like. So you asked, band and choir are not currently meeting online, but once school begins next Thursday, they will. Uh, and then we're working with them to look at what does the audience look like. UIL has given some parameters as far as uh, capacity at events. And so we're working through that to ensure that our, our families and our community members are able, able to participate and view as much as possible, while also ensuring that we're keeping our students and staff safe and we're following the safety protocols that are outlined for us. Dr. Cabasos, for the students that will continue the online learning throughout the year, will they still be able to, to participate in extracurricular activities virtually? So we will, for students who are, say I'm a band student and I'm choosing to learn online, I will be allowed to come up to school for um, before and after school practices or during the class period. Uh, because we want to ensure that the students get to maximize those experiences, as well as uh, there are certain programs like our career and technology classes, for example, welding, um, is a little difficult to do that all online. There's a lot of hands-on pieces to that and other similar courses like that at the high school level. And Dr. Cavazos, once in a school instruction begins, what safety measures will Gregory Portland ISD implement to help reduce the spread of COVID-19? Mm -hmm. So we have, of course, when students arrive, that we'll do the initial screening, you know, with the students, a verbal screening. Uh, and then within our facilities, we have um, social distancing dots around the building. As you heard Mr. Alvarado mention, that teachers are taping off where desks will be to help us make sure that they're just socially distanced. We have uh, the personal protective equipment and gear, several uh, san uh, sanitation stations throughout the classrooms and uh, the school as well. In addition, we have uh, purchased three-sided dividers that can be at the desks for students so that um, we can minimize the spread, of, uh, spread that way as well. Dr. Cabasas, what about visitors? Uh, if a parent wants to drop off something to their student, they may forgot it happens often or anything yeah. else. How are you implementing safety measures when visitors come? Mm -hmm. So this, at this time, we have that there will not be visitors allowed on campus during the school day. Um, that we just need to ensure that we limit the number of people that are in our building uh, to protect our students and our staff. Also, as far as cleaning measures, how often will classes in the school be cleaned? They'll be cleaned, uh, of course, at the beginning and the end of each day, but then throughout the day as well. There'll be uh, sanitation stations, as I mentioned, within the classrooms, and uh, teachers will be helping with that as in their classrooms. Uh, and then also if students, you know, we have our, our restrooms clean very frequently, the, the hand washing stations as well, uh, to, to be ensure that they're sanitized uh, as often as possible throughout the day. As far as other items such as water fountains, I know that other schools have added uh, touch-free 
unlocked water fountains, uh, are things like that being added to Gregory Portland ISD schools? We have not currently um, done touchless water fountains at this point, uh, so those will not be uh, used by students or by staff. Uh, but students will be able to bring their own uh, container for water throughout the day. And Dr. Michelle Cavazos with Gregory Portland ISD will continue to be with us throughout the rest of our newscast. If you have a question for her, please text us to 361-855-6397.